hello guys welcome back to coding cafe so in this video tutorial we will learn the basics of components we will understand what exactly make up a component and how we will add or create a new component so basically a component is made up of three parts template class and metadata so the first one is a template which represents the view which is created by using the HTML and CSS and the next one is the class a class is nothing but a code a code that supported the view and this is created by using the the TypeScript so the class like any other programming language contain the data properties and method that can be used to control the logic of the view component has also some metadata metadata is actually uh, information that angular needs to decide if the particular class is in fact an angular component or just a regular class a metadata is represented by a decorator which is a feature in the typescript a decorator is just a function that provides information about the class attached to it so when we combine the template class and metadata uh, these three th three things give us a component so now let's just get back to the visual studio code and open the app.component.ps file and right here we have this class app component which contain a property title which is equals to coding cafe so this class has a meta data which is attached in the in the form of decorator which is a component decorator so this component uh, decorator is attached to this app component class so this tell the angular that this is not a plain plain class this is a component decorator which contain both the metadata and the template so for the metadata we have this selector the template url and the style url this is all the information about this class so selector is basically a custom html tag that can be used to represent this component and when you specify selector in your html angular render the component template in its place so for our hello world example you can see the selector for app component is app root and in our index.html file the app root is used as a custom html tag and this tag has a opening and closing tags and if we get back to the app.component file the template for this component is defined using the template url so if we go to the app.component dot component dot html file here is the template of our web page because the template url points to this url which is this file app dot component dot html this file contain the template or you can say the html design and when we run our application all the uh, HTML code inside this app.component.html file get uh, replaced in the index.html file where we specify this component which is app root and now the next thing is the style URL so the URL is uh, pointed to the app.component.css file which is this one this is empty for now so let's just uh, design our this h2 tag uh, let's just design it uh, we will type some uh, css code for the h2 tag and then we will uh, see the result in our browser so if you type h2 
some brackets and then we will type color and let's just give it a red color and now compiled successfully and now if you see your browser all the h2 tags the color of the h2 tags is now changed to red so in this way you can design your hello world app to to make changes uh, in the html uh, tags you can just go to the app.compound.html file and make changes right here and if you want to give it a style you can go to the app.compound.css file so this is how the angular works so now we will create uh, another component so to create another component we need to type ng and then uh, to generate we will type g and for the component we will type c and then uh, the name of the component will be body so the component name will be body and now press enter and now this will take a minute okay so as you can see right here our new component is now created which is body and you can see in the terminal it just created these files component.html uh, body.component.spec.ts and these files are right over here so to uh, make changes in this uh, body component you can uh, add this style to the body.component.css and if you want to add any html you can add the html in the body.component.html file so this uh, specs uh, spec file is uh, created for testing so we don't need this file right now so we will just delete that file we just only need these three files so we just uh, named our component just body and the angular uh, automatically add uh, body dot component dot css and body dot component dot html because we created a component so that's why it uh, added a component in between this two dots so so this tells the angular that this is a new component and if we open our body dot component dot html file it says uh, inside this paragraph tag that body works so this means that the body dot component the body component is created successfully so now you can create uh, uh, components if you need any component for your application so in this way you can create a new component inside angular and now if we uh, get inside the app module.ts file the body component as you can see right here is automatically added and they also added the body component uh, to our declaration the declaration array and this declaration array contain all of all the components which we created so the first component is the app component and the next one is the body component and uh, if we create another component then its name will be added automatically right here and you will be thinking how this uh, com uh, body component added automatically to the app module file this is because of the cli the angular cli so the angular cli do this work for us just to save our time and if you get back to the body.component.ts file as you can see the selector is uh, equals to the uh, app hyphen body so let's just get back to the app.component dot html file and over here we will uh, remove this code from right here from this resources so we will remove the resources and the next step add dependencies build for production we will remove all of this code okay and we will remove also the footer so remove all of this code because we don't need that right now and let's just run our app 
to make sure that this code is removed okay compiled successfully and if we refresh our page all of the code is now gone now we have only this uh, header and this coding cafe is running successfully so now right here what we will do so after this ending div we will type app hyphen body which is our component selector so we will call this uh, selector app body and uh, now this uh, this paragraph tag will be shown on the main page because we call the selector app body right here okay so we call it so now if we just uh, check our browser as you can see right here body works so in this way you can uh, show your component on your screen just like this okay just create a new component and then call that component on the main page so as I do it right here okay so I just call the app body right here so now we can design this uh, body component if we go inside this uh, body.component.css file and if we type p because we want to design the paragraph tag we will add some color and let's just add it a green color okay green yeah so it is compiled successfully let me just add a semicolon right there so as you can see the body works is now its color is now changed to body uh, I mean not body to green and guys you can also call the the uh, app body component in a, inside a div let me just show you how we will uh, call it inside a div we will create a div and uh, div and then we will type app hyphen body okay so now we again call the selector app body so compile successfully so it is uh, not showing that body works but it also works in this way too but we can use our our old me method which is this one because this works for us and guys let me just tell you this that you can also specify the template in line so let me just show you how we will use the template in line we will remove this and we will remove this URL and we will just type template and and inside this template we will create a div and inside this div we will uh, type inline template and we will remove this code from here because now it is a inline template and as you can see right here it is changed to inline template and also you can style the template in line uh, for that you need to just add styles and then we will add some uh, style to this div so we will type div and brackets and it its color will be red not read only red okay so it is showing some error let's just uh, get back okay and now now if we type div and uh, brackets and then inside this bracket we will type color and then red so now this will add a red color to this inline template as you can see right here once the browser is refreshed the color will be changed to red but we don't want this uh, inline 
template style and template HTML. We just want the HTML and the CSS in a different files like we did it before. This is because uh, if we're working on a, a big project, um, big project, then uh, we can't add all the HTML code right here and all the CSS code right here because it will uh, create uh, bugs and errors for us. So that's why it is uh, okay in a different files. So to make any changes in the HTML, just open up the component name. Uh, I mean the body component body.component.html file and add what you want to add and if you want to give it a style then go to the body.component.css file and add it a style and also you can create uh, new components if it is needed so just create new components and yeah this is how the component works and how you can create a components so this is it for this video and in the next video we will continue our work on this angular so thank you guys for watching and subscribe our channel coding cafe